One. She bought a home down the hill from my own, a snug little number done up in Wisteria. Not so long ago, she won a Golden Globe for her featured role in one of those paranormal romances. I hadn't seen the film, but I'd heard good things from Chudley and others. The house once belonged to her grandmother, and she'd visit in the summers when she was younger, playing in the park, swimming in the community pool. She was looking to reclaim a part of her past. Two spells in rehab, a nasty divorce, and widely circulated honeymoon video. The Hollywood grind had ground her into something she no longer recognized. She was piecing herself back together. Or at least, that's what Chudley told me. 2. Missy and I were doing yard work when the moving trucks came lumbering into town. I was trimming the edges of the lawn. Missy was bedding a plant given as a gift by a close friend in the neighboring cubicle. Neither of us knew the name of the plant. It wasn't your garden variety, Flora. Not even an internet search yielded any clues. The long column of trucks filed past our house. The backs rattled with lavish furnishings, or so I imagined, the din of which sounded like an anxious child riling birthday presents, guessing at the contents inside. Across the street, Chudley was lounging on his roof. I could see the pink of his toes hanging over the guttered edge. Missy went inside for a cold drink, and I walked over to Chudley's place. "'What are you doing?' I said. "'Come on up,' he called down to me. I climbed the ladder in the backyard and assumed my usual position, parallel to Chudley. I held myself to a fresh beer, a domestic brew nestled in a pocket of bank leaves. Chudley's gutters were badly clogged after years of neglect, but instead of cleaning them out, he tossed in a handful of ice cubes and used the trough as a makeshift cooler when he wanted to unwind on the roof. We watched the actress command and coordinate the movers like a veteran general. She was dressed in clothes geared for comfort, charity t-shirt, pink sweatpants. She wasn't wearing any makeup and her hair was tied in a loose braid. Chudley was panting heavily. You're a huge weirdo, you know that, I said. One man's weirdo is another man's freedom fighter. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't it? 